Hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So with this video, I am going to show you how you can generate uh, all those uh, custom previews that you can see right here with uh, only two uh, different uh, preview annotations within your Kotlin file, right? So as you can see, we have a bunch of different uh, previews right here and uh, we were able to generate uh, all of that only with uh, those uh, two different annotations. So uh, be sure to watch this video until the end. If you want to learn how to remove the unnecessary boilerplate code, which is associated with uh, those preview composable functions. Okay, uh, so here I have uh, already prepared uh, one project, and this project contains uh, just uh, one uh, simple custom UI component. And on the bottom of this uh, Kotlin file, we can see a bunch of different preview composable functions, where uh, each displays a certain preview variation of this uh, same UI component, right? And uh, this uh, can be quite uh, problematic, uh, especially if you have a bit more complex component than this one, and uh, you want to see how would that component uh, look like on uh, various different devices as well. In that case, uh, this uh, whole uh, Kotlin file can easily turn into one uh, big uh, boilerplate file, and that's just for one uh, single custom UI component. Uh, you can just imagine how would your code look like if you would have to add uh, all those preview functions for uh, each and every component of yours. Now, there is a solution for that, of course. So, uh, instead of uh, creating uh, all those uh, preview composables, uh, we're going to define a new custom annotation class that will contain uh, multiple preview annotations. So, uh, instead of writing uh, multiple preview composables, uh, we are going to write uh, just one. So, uh, now here I'm going to create uh, one new uh, actual Kotlin file. So let's create this um, file with the name of uh, previews. There you go. And here I'm going to create one a simple annotation class with the name of, uh, for example, font scale previews, right? So this uh, annotation will uh, contain uh, multiple different preview annotations. So let's uh, here create this uh, preview. And this uh, first one can have the name, for example, of um, a small font. We can also specify here a group, for example, a small a uh, font uh, group. Uh, down below I can create here a font uh, scale for this uh, actual preview. So let's say maybe 0.5f. Uh, and we can specify here uh, the actual uh, UI mode. For example, let's say maybe uh, UI uh, night uh, no for now. Let's just import that. Perfect. Now the second annotation here can be uh, the same. Only this time we can use uh, UI mode night yes. So this one, right? So the next uh, group of annotations, we can add uh, and just copy those uh, two. And here we can write a normal font. So normal font group, normal font and normal font group. In this case, I can just uh, remove this uh, font scale because that way uh, we're going to use a default uh, font scale, which will be just a one. And now let's add uh, one more group. So uh, in this case, uh, a large, so large font and large uh, font group. There you go. We can also specify here uh, font scale to be, for example, 1.5f. Just uh, paste that right here. There you go. So now our custom uh, font uh, scale previews annotation class uh, will contain uh, all those previews which uh, we already have within our uh, my card uh, Kotlin file, right? So now what uh, I am going to do here, I'm going to just uh, comment out uh, all those previews uh, from here. There you go. And now I'm going to create only one preview. So let's uh, here create a new uh, composable function actually with the name of um, my uh, card preview. Let's uh, call here uh, uh, my card and let's add here only one annotation. So a font uh, scale previews annotation, right? So now with uh, only single preview annotation, we will be able to generate uh, all those uh, different kind of uh, previews that we already had with uh, in our actual my car Kotlin file, right? So there is just one more thing which I have forgot to specify and that is this uh, show background. So let's just uh, add that uh, down below to each one of those composables. There you go. Now let's just refresh our preview. And there you go. So with this, uh, we were able to create basically uh, multiple different previews by specifying only a single preview, right? And with that uh, custom uh, font scale previews annotation, we can preview all those different kind of uh, things for uh, each and every component of ours, right? So in this case, as you can see, we have uh, two different previews for a large font. So dark and a light theme. Then we have a normal font 
light and a dark theme, and we have a small font for a dark and a light theme as well. So this was just one example. Now we can create, for example, one more annotation class. Let's name this a second annotation class uh, device previews. And here I'm going to add a couple of different preview annotations as well. So let's specify here uh, the name, for example, uh, pixel XL. The group will be uh, just uh, devices. The actual device here uh, will be uh, grabbed from this devices object. So devices dot uh, a pixel XL and let's also call this uh, show system UI to true. I'm going to copy this uh, multiple times down below. So let's create here a uh, pixel uh, number two. So let's call here a uh, pixel number uh, two. There we go. So number three here. Let's call here pixel number three. Then a number four. So pixel number four. And let's see if we have uh, some more uh, options here. So we can also, for example, call this uh, pixel C, which is a tablet. There we go. Now we can remove this one. And uh, now let's uh, try to actually call uh, one more preview uh, composable function in our Kotlin file. So now what we can do, we can just uh, here on this uh, same composable function add uh, one more annotation. So device previews, there we go. And now let's just uh, wait until uh, we draw all, all those previews within our uh, preview panel right here. So now if we scroll down below, we will be able to see uh, all those different kind of uh, devices on which we have drawn our previews, right? So as you can see now, we, all, we have uh, those uh, mobile devices, but also a tablet as well. So that's how it works. As you can see now, we were able to generate uh, all those different kind of uh, previews by specifying only two different annotations and the one composable function. So this was just uh, one example. Of course, uh, you can create a new, uh, for example, annotation class specifically for um, the theme. And you can separate those uh, font scales with a theme annotation class. So it's up to you. Anyhow, this was just one simple and basic example. I hope that now you understand how you can uh, take advantage of this uh, annotation class to actually reduce the number of lines uh, of codes that you add within your Kotlin file. So uh, be sure to comment down below and tell me what do you think about this uh, custom annotation class. And don't forget to like this video if you find it uh, helpful, of course. And uh, see you next one.